Today, we are gonna be trying out some weird food combinations. Apparently, a lot of people love these combinations. Let's see if they're any good. Hot Cheetos and some milk or cream cheese. I'm a little scared of this. This looks pretty gross. <laughs> hey, this confused my brain because when <laughs> eating it with milk, my brain is like, oh, it's cereal, but then it has like a spicy taste with milk. Let me try one more time. Oh my god. Alright, it tastes so bad. It tastes so bad. Oh no. Who thought that it tastes good? Well, let's see if it tastes better with cream cheese. Okay, this tastes better. It kind of reminds me more of like chips and salsa. The cream cheese adds like a smooth texture to the crunchy Cheeto that's also spicy. And it helps it cool down the, the taste, which is really nice. I actually like this one a lot. I would give this one an 8.5 out of 10. The one with milk, I would give that a 1 out of 10. I don't know who thought of that. Next combination, some grilled cheese and some jam. I'm pretty sure this is gonna taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. Fruit and cheese taste really good. I think I should just eat grilled cheese sandwiches all the time with jam. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. Next combination, pickles and peanut butter. I've heard a lot of people say that this is pretty good. Kinda weird. Actually, it does taste pretty good. Pickles have like a vinegar kind of taste. The peanut butter kind of neutralizes that out. It actually makes the peanut butter kind of taste sweet. Mm. Pickles are nice and crunchy and peanut butter is so smooth. And actually like the combination is kind of like weirdly good. I'd give this combination an 8.5 out of 10. Stay tuned to the rest of the vlog for a lot more food combinations. Evil! And it smells disgusting too. It basically smells like garbage. Start the day. Who's that, Gatsby? Who's that? They're cleaning the windows. <laughs> I'll protect you. Come over here. Good dog. Yeah. <gasps> What's that noise, Gatsby? Your heart is beating so fast. Seems like they're done already. They're going on to the next one. You did it! You survived another window cleaning! Gatsby, congratulations, you're a corgi! Look at those nails, they're super long. We need to cut them. You survived your nail clippings. It's still shedding season, huh, Gatsby? Can you tell? That's a lot of fur. A lot of you guys ask me all the time, how did you get Gatsby used to the vacuum? How did you get Gatsby used to cutting his nails? And it's all about desensitizing them from a young age, just because I knew that corgis shed a lot. Well, if I'm gonna need to be vacuuming a lot, I need to make sure that he will be okay with the vacuum. If you make it a routine, normal thing from a young age, they will grow to accept it. Gatsby and his vacuum cleaner. So right now I am driving over to my friend's place who sells corals just because I haven't been there in a while and we want to see what kind of different coral pieces he has. Maybe we can add something new to the aquarium. Check it out. Look at all the coral I just got. This is from my friend Patrick over here. 
<laughs> he has a website selling all of his coral here, Aquatic Gems. I'll put the link right over here or in the description below. I tend to get a lot of my corals from friends just because it's always risky to stick coral into your tank that's from the wild just because you don't know like what kind of bugs and stuff are on the coral. I got a lot of coral and fish from him so it's really awesome because I personally don't have to quarantine the fish or the coral because he does it himself. We got a Ganeopora over here again. We have a Cinerina Plating Monty. Then we have three Zoanthids here. Okay, it took a while, but I placed all of the corals. We just have to wait now for the corals to acclimate and open themselves up, and I'll do a quick aquarium tour. Let's check back in a few hours. In the meantime, let's head off to the gym. Let's get our Nike Flyknit racers on. See you guys there. Done with our workout, we're gonna head back home and try some more weird food combinations. Well, all these corgis flows as my mini me. Body smoking, so they call me young Nikki Chimini. Rappers in their feelings, cause they feel me. I give zero dogs and I got zero chillin' me. And now let's continue on with our weird food combinations. Some pepperoni and peanut butter. My mouth is really confused. I wouldn't say it's as good as pickles, but it's actually still not that bad. The pepperoni is definitely like a lot more salty. It kind of makes the peanut butter taste a little bit sweet. It's definitely really dry still. I think the flavor is actually really good. Definitely I can understand why people say they like this. Eight out of 10. Next combination, some peanut butter and bologna. I don't really eat bologna that often, so we'll see how this tastes. It tastes pretty good. Bologna has like more of a ham taste than the pepperoni. But on the other hand, it's a lot more moist. If you want to make a peanut butter bologna sandwich, I would be like totally on board. Out of 10, I would give bologna with peanut butter an eight. We're gonna try some Nutella and chips. Salty chips with Nutella, I think this is gonna taste really good. I usually eat Nutella with salted pretzels. Those are always really good. But this like adds an extra crunch. I could definitely eat this and become really fat. I would give Nutella with chips an 8.5 out of 10. So far the grilled cheese is still winning, but I think all the combinations were pretty good other than the Cheetos with milk, which is just like gross. We're gonna do even more combinations of recipes later on in the vlog with Sean. So stay tuned for that. Let's continue on with the vlog. Oh yeah. Time to open some more mail from you guys. Oh, look at this. He's so excited. Deathview loves ropes. That's nice. We got a Halloween rope here. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. Maybe it's written in one of the letters. This is from Sophie from Clark, New Jersey. Ed, you sent me a get well card from Hawaii. Madison from Moss Point, Mississippi. Katie from Maryland. My friend has a Corgi Husky mix and his name is Cowboy. Lila from Nashville, Tennessee. Even my mom loves your videos. Guess we got a nice bandana here. My name is Grace Lee, CEO of WholeWolf.com. I would like to offer 15% off for your followers. Use code GATSBY15. Enjoy your gift from Jamie. Thank you so much, Jamie. Check it out, there's something inside, Gatsby. You got it! No! <laughs> Jasky says thank you to everyone. And just a quick update on the calendar. I have selected all the pictures for every single month. I don't want to ruin the surprise for you, so I'm not going to show you too much yet. I decided to order the pictures based off of the time of day. For example, the pictures starting at the beginning of the calendar in January and February are going to be in the morning time. The ones in November and December are the nighttime shots. So the calendar is kind of ordered in Gatsby's full day, just kind of like the vlog. Super, super exciting times. Now that it's been a few hours, let's check on the new corals. It's still not open. It's going to end up looking more like this alveopora that we have right over here. I also removed the acans that were right over here and moved them somewhere else just because I was studying the habits of the fish. And as you can see, the flame angel likes to swim in and out of this cave. And the fish was actually bothering the coral there, so I decided to move it out of the way. I placed the Cinerina coral over here. It looks like a giant gummy candy. I placed 
the acans are getting nipped by the fish over here. Hopefully they won't get bothered there. I also got a one polyp blondie zola right over here. Hopefully that will start spreading. As you can see over here, my yellow brick road zoas have also started to multiply. It's a little hard to see, but I added the Monty cap over here. That should fill up nicely. I need something that would actually just encrust the rock because the torch coral over here and the Duncan corals over here have long tentacles and we don't want anything to sting it. It's hard to see, but I got a colony of blow pop zoas right over here. And finally on the rock on the right, I added these orange zoas, which I have no idea what they're called. I think that's just an orange morph. So I decided to stick it over there to help brighten up the rock. And that's your aquarium update. You know, one thing I think we need to do, Gatsby, is go on a hike. I get so excited when you travel with me, baby, while I'm on my grind. And never would I ever let my hustle come between me and my corgi time, and... Ready, Gatsby? So we're gonna start the trail right now. Climb, corgis. Climb. It's already looking beautiful. So if you guys don't know, Gatsby and I like to go on lots of hikes. It's already so beautiful here. You peeing? Mmm. Nice, good stress relief. Always puts me in a good mood when I go hiking. Got water? Climbing up higher and higher. Good dog, Gatsby. Playing Pokemon Go every day. So far, 1.02 miles. Oh man, we made it to the view. View. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna head back home now. You made it, Gatsby. You survived another hike and another day. Okay, we walked two miles. That was such a nice sunset hike, Gatsby. Nice. Okay, see you guys back home to make dinner. <sighs> For dinner today, we are going to be making a hot dog penne pasta that is on BuzzFeed's website. I'll put a link in the description below to the recipe. Seems like a pretty simple and easy after college meal. So let's try it out. Here are the ingredients you will need. First, we need to chop up two cloves of garlic, chop up half an onion, chop up six hot dogs, and chop up four tomatoes. Sweet. Now we're ready to start cooking. In a large pot, we will add two tablespoons of olive oil, our garlic, and onion. And we're gonna mix. Next, we add our chopped up hot dog and mix. And then our tomatoes and mix. Next, we add half a tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of pepper to taste. And then we mix again. Then we add seven ounces of heavy cream and mix. Then we add our dry penne pasta, half a pound, and 16 ounces of water and mix. We cover and cook for 15 minutes, stirring every five minutes. While we wait for this to cook, let's chop two tablespoons of green onions. After the 15 minutes has passed, we turn off the heat, add the green onions and close the lid and wait five extra minutes. Finally, we add some Parmesan cheese. Dinner time! It's not bad. I mean, it's like not the best thing because we're using hot dogs and it tastes like hot dogs instead of like sausage. The flavors really nicely complement each other. It kind of has like a creamy taste, but it has tomatoes. It was super simple to make. It's definitely not like a culinary masterpiece, but it tastes good. Like it's a solid like after college meal. Sean's here. Hey. He's checking out the paintings. Yeah. We're gonna be doing some more weird combinations of food. The dessert theme this time. Ice cream and french fries. Have you had that before? Uh, at In-N-Out, yes. It kind of tastes like french fries and ice cream. Yeah. It's not, there's no special taste to it, it's just... <laughs> Why do people <laughs> like this though? It doesn't taste good to me. It doesn't taste different together, it just tastes like I'm trying the ice cream. And I like both, so... Together, there's no difference. I don't know, I like spaghetti and I like ice cream. I don't like those together. Have you tried it? No. <laughs> Personally, I mean, I would just give this like a five out of 10. Seven out of 10. Let's try the next ones. 
ice cream or chips. Okay, it tastes like fried ice cream. I like it a lot. I like it because it's salty and sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna make this at home now. But it's like nice and crunchy. The the potato chips I like nice and crunchy. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. An eight out of ten. I give it an eight as well. It's super good. Okay, next one. Ice cream or extra virgin olive oil. Um, I wouldn't eat this. Ew. Tastes kind of like oily ice cream. Mm -hmm. I don't know, olive oil and cold, I think that's kind of weird too. I think I'd give it a uh, 4 out of 10. I'd give it a 3, it's gross. <laughs> Next one. Ice cream or soy sauce? kind of like it. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> it makes it taste like extra vanilla bean. It kind of changes the flavor a little bit too. It's adding a lot of umami MSG kind of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I taste. It's not that bad. I like it. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I'd give that a 6. That's interesting. I'd give it like a 7.5. It's not bad. Avocado and condensed milk. <laughs> um, so when I was working a long time ago, some Filipino guy made it for me. Except he used milk and sugar instead and mashed it up in a cup like a smoothie. And I was like, aww. And then I tried it and I was like, it's not that bad. So someone mentioned using condensed milk instead, so let's see. Alright, let's try Oh it. my gosh, you got so much. You know what? I'm getting a kiwi taste. What? I don't know what you're tasting. It just tastes like slightly sweet avocado. I think that's why I'm getting like a kiwi. Just because it's like sweet. I still taste kiwi. <laughs> I don't taste I kiwi. Don't know, I don't know. It is avocado and sugar. I would give this one like a 6.5. I'll give it a five. You slay every day, Gatsby? <laughs> Look at that butt. <laughs> like, please. Uh -huh. How can you even see? Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out a grilled cheese sandwich with jam and let me know what you think. That was super good. Make sure to check out our t-shirts, corgionfleek.com. Spreadshirt is running a promotion right now. If you missed the last one, right now they are running a promotion for 15% off all the t-shirts. Other than that though, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure to subscribe if you are new and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Are you gonna be trying out a spaghetti jaffle? Apparently this is the way the Australians eat spaghetti, is in a sandwich. I'll be properly eating Vegemite, berry bread, which I've never had before. Apparently that's a really big thing. And I'll be doing some Tim Tam Slams. Let's get started.